Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance, and today's tool talk is what do you use to clean your tools? I've used many things over the years. For the longest time, I just used WD-40. Uh, it's a really good cleaner. Uh, it also helps lubricate and things like that to make sure you don't get rust on your tools and things like that. So it's, it's a really good product. Uh, I just never did really like the film that sometimes it leaves behind. And then also, you know, the smell of it, if, I, if I'm cleaning tools, I pretty much want to do it somewhere where, you know, my wife's not going to complain about the smell of it versus what I use now. Uh, it does all the same things, doesn't leave a film, smells terrific, and I call it magical. And that's because the name of it is Houdini. You know, and I don't know if any of you have ever used this, but what it is, is it's actually a lock lubricant. Uh, they used to sell this at Lowe's in this size can, and then they, they swapped and moved to some little small can. And now my Lowe's doesn't carry this. I don't know if yours may. I'm not saying that it doesn't. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description. Uh, but I, I purchased mine at my local locksmith. Uh, I just buy it by the case whenever I buy it. Uh, I use WD-40, like I said, for years. I've used this now for uh, probably 10 years or more. And as soon as I started using this, how well it works, the smell that it has, and then the, the fact that it doesn't leave any kind of residue, I don't have to worry about what else I'm spraying it on. And the key thing for me is that it works on electric and combination locking devices. So it's even, uh, I'm not worrisome about spraying this on other like my drills and, and anything like that and getting it in somewhere uh, don't have to worry about that but you can see it says it penetrates clean lubricates protects it doesn't have teflon doesn't have silicone no grease no oil no graphite no gum up it has anti-rust and no corrosion so it, it does provide protection and i was a little leery of it at first when i first started using it just because it doesn't seem like it has any kind of property like that to it it doesn't seem like it's oily in any way but I have not had one tool that I've cleaned uh, end up rusting by using this. So I'm going to show it to you, you know, in action and let you see the difference of of how well it works. I'll start out with these Weir screwdrivers. You know, this is one that I haven't used. It just sits in my drawer because I've got the this size and another in the in the Pico finish. So I don't keep this one in my bag. Or actually, I think this might even be a double. But this is one, this is the one that rides in my MP1 with me. And I mean, I use the fire out of this one. It's, even though it's insulated, I use it for everything. I, I love the laser tip on these, but you know, you can tell how dirty it is from me just using it for uh, the last week or so. And I, again, I clean these pretty regularly, but you know, this Houdini, you can just you know, spray it all over and you take you a cloth and you'll see how much better that comes off. I mean, it's almost getting to the point where it looks new. So all, all you guys out there who look at my tools and say, well, they don't even look like they ever use. Well, it's because I do this pretty much on a, uh, sometimes a daily basis. But and if I know I'm using a tool for a couple days in a row, doing the same exact thing where it's just going to get exactly the same again, sometimes I'll wait a day or two. But, you know, this is... This is how I keep my tools clean, and there's zero residue on there. Uh, and again, you can't smell it, but it is it smells like oranges. So every time I've cleaned tools, I can now clean them in my house, and I don't have to have my wife get mad at me and say, you need to be doing that somewhere else. Uh, so now I, that's what another thing I really like about it. I mean, it's not a lot. You saw how dirty it was before, and again, I've, I've used this screwdriver, I mean, absolutely tons. And it's, it's going back to where it's nearly like new. And like I said, a big benefit is that you can use it on, you know, anything you want to because you don't have to worry about what it's getting on. And I don't know if it's intended to be that way. I'm just telling you in my experience, I've used this stuff for like 10 years now. And any tool I've sprayed it on, whether it was uh, electronic or not, I've not had an issue with it tearing up a tool. I've not had an issue with any kind of residue being left behind. And I just really like it. Uh, I brought this in as an example. This isn't my tool. I had to go find, uh, this is one of Tyler's tools in, in the last video you saw. This is how he takes care of it. So, you know, you can just sit here and spray away all over. Spray the molding. 
You can also spray it on a rag. I do that a lot. But you can, it makes all these tools end up looking like new. And sometimes, you know, you, you can't get in little crevices with certain things. Uh, you'll have something like, uh, let's see if I can find somewhere on here, you know, like in deep down in here, you know, I can just take this and just spray the spray all over it. But now, you know, you, you can end up making these tools look like new. I can't make this one look like new because I haven't been the one that's cleaned it every single time. If you get all this kind of stuff like this off whenever you do it, instead of waiting around, your tools can stay new looking for a long time. Uh, same thing with all my drills. I, I, I'll wipe them down with it, wipe the handles. They'll turn black as can be again. You know, this would be dusty with drywall dust and concrete dust and everything else. <clears throat> but once you just rub over the tool with the Houdini, it's magical what it can do for your tools. And, and again, I love it because I don't have to worry about what I'm spraying it on. It smells nice, does a good job. But the big thing for me is there's no weird film that's left on the handles of my tools. So I, I just wanted to share with you what I use to clean my tools. Uh, but I'm interested in what do you use to clean your tools because uh, I always like, again, I tell everybody, I don't know that this is the best thing. It's the best thing I've ever used, but maybe you've got something that you think works better. I'd like to know what that is. And not only that, share that with all those who watch this channel as well. Uh, we're getting up close to 800 subscribers, guys. I can't, can't believe it. Thank you all who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, but you like watching videos about tools, uh, I'm starting to add more videos of me working. Uh, I hope that y'all are patient with that. It's it's a new learning curve for me to learn how to film myself with that GoPro and trying out different mounts and things like that. And plus editing is, is not my forte yet, but I appreciate each and every one of you who watch the videos, who comment. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this kind of content, please do so. Uh, I hope that you all have a blessed day and I'll see you guys on the next video.